Shalom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm Israel Christ. Very welcome to Green Pastures. I'm glad to come your way on divine pathways. God is teaching us our pathways as God's children to undeniable blessings. And I have no doubt you will be blessed. I'm looking at the book I wrote many years back. Your divine pathways to undeniable blessings. Get the book on Amazon or send a WhatsApp message to me or any number of the screen requesting for how you can get a copy. You will be directed and you can get a copy for your high pad, for your laptop, for whatever, I mean, any device you have, we have that which will fit into you and you will enjoy the book. Now, we look at the facts last week from Numbers chapter 18, 21, 24 to 27, that God expects tight not from everybody. Hear me again. Not from everybody. But God expects tithes from all his children, including the priests and the pastors. So let me make it bold that unbelievers don't have to tithe. Because tithe is a covenant between God and his children. So if you are not a child of God, you don't have to tithe. And so that's why people are coming with all kinds of arguments. I laugh at them. When you are struggling with the argument of whether you start to know, I will begin to look at you to wonder whether you belong to God or you belong to the other man. But the scripture is very clear. He wants his children to tithe. So from this passage, it is clear that God asks his people to bring their tithes to the Levites. For they have no inheritance. That's what is recorded in Numbers chapter 18. But in Leviticus chapter 18, verse 26, we also see God instructing the Levites themselves to give a tithe of their tithes they have received from people of Israel. I remember when I was in seminary, one of my colleagues, one of the, my colleagues, a pastor from another denomination, was telling me, as a priest, I don't have to tithe. And I laughed at him, I told him, Every child of God is required to tithe. Whether you are a pastor or a deacon or a prophet, unless you don't want divine blessings, if you want divine blessings, you've got to operate with divine pathways. And the pathway is the pathway of faithful tithing. Any pastor who fails to be faithful in tithes, for whatever reason, is undoing himself. And I will say it clearly, he's shortchanging himself from the blessings of God. You see, during the time of Nehemiah, the scriptural command was enacted and put into practice. And I read, And we made ordinances to bring the first fruits of our ground and the first fruits of, the all, of all fruits of all trees, year by year, to the house of the Lord, to bring the firstborn of our sons and our cattle, and it is written in the law, and the firstborn of our hearts and our flocks to the house of our God, to the priest who minister in the house of our God, to bring the first fruits of our dough, our offerings, the fruit of all kinds of trees, the new wine and oil to the priest, to the storerooms of the house of God, and to bring the tithes of our land to the Levites. For the Levites should receive the tithes in all our farming communities. And the priests, the descendants of Aaron, shall be with the Levites. When the Levites receive the tithes, and the Levites shall bring up a tenth of the Levites to the house of the Lord. To the rooms of the storehouse. So it's very clear here that all God's children are expected to tithe. If you are a child of God, tithing is your pathway to divine blessings. Let no devil talk you out. Let no strange preacher 
let no strange doctrine. Let no, oh, I just found a new light to take you out of it. Yeah, there may be some way, some people have done it wrongly. But that does not say you should not do it rightly. If you are a child of God, if you are born again, if you belong to Jesus, Titan is your divine pathway to undeniable blessings. Still, I come your way next week. May God grant you grace to be faithful even as your tithes. May you not miss your mark. May you not miscalculate to the, rains, to the extent that you miss your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.